Hi, in this tutorial, we'll discuss different ways to work with audio channels and plugins, how to set them up, and also their respective benefits. Typically, when we insert a plugin, we don't ponder the routing of its inputs and outputs. A host program does that for us by using a default stereo mode. That is, no matter into which mono or stereo channel a plugin was inserted, it processes both the left and right channels anyway, and it works most of the time. However, sometimes we come across the situation when we want to treat channels independently. The plugins from Melder Production have a broad choice of different channel settings that can cover all situations you face in your work. To access them, click on the Channel Mode button, located on the right. In the open pop-up panel, we can see a list of the channel modes a plugin possesses. The list can vary from plugin to plugin, and some plugins don't have this option at all. However, for a majority, it looks like this. On the top, we see the default left-right mode. You already know how it works. The rest of the modes can be split into three groups. The first group, left and right, makes the plugin process only left or right channel correspondingly. The other channel stays untouched. For example, if I pick the left mode, the signal in the left channel will be treated and the signal on the right side will stay original. The second group, mid and side, is designed for processing signals that are common to both left and right channels or are present in just one of them accordingly. It can be a bit tricky to comprehend at the beginning, but try the following. If you need to process signals pan to the center or close, then select the M mode. And if you want to apply an effect to signals positioned to the left and right side, then use the S mode. Don't confuse the last mode with modes from the first group. Yes, they all process signals in the left and right channels. However, the left and right modes process individual channels and the S mode works with both. The third group, the surround, is meant to be used in the surround setup. Here, a plugin individually processes each channel or selection of channels. OK, now when we've got some understanding about different channel modes, let's see how we can use them. In the first example, I'm going to fix a music stem that is part of a reggae song I received for mastering. It sounds OK, however you can hear a keyboard playing on the left that has more low frequency energy than a guitar on the right. That creates a strange sensation in the head. I can easily fix that by applying a low shelf or high cut filter to the left channel. For that, I select the left channel mode and adjust the high cut filter to my liking. As we're discussing the individual treatment of the left and right channels, let me mention two more channel modes, left and zero right, and right and zero left. As in the two modes above, each of them process only one channel. The difference is that another channel gets muted. For example, if I choose the left and zero right mode, a plugin will process the left channel and will mute the right one. useful for monitoring your actions when you're individually working with the left and right channels. You can also use them if you want to have a single channel out of a stereo signal. The last mode out of the left-right category is the left plus right neg. Here both channels are processed and the right one gets inverted. Handy if you need to fix a stereo recording made with a wrongly soldered cable or forgotten invert button on a mixing board.
In the next example, I'm going to fix a bass line which has a very wide stereo image at the low bottom. As you already know, changes in the M channel principally influences the sounds panned close to the center. And alterations in the S channel mostly impact signals on the sides. Thus, by changing the balance between the M and S channels, we set the balance between these groups of the sounds. And, in my example, it means I can adjust the width of the baseline stereo image. However, I must do that only in the frequency range where the problem is. For that, I'm simply going to cut the bottom end in the S channel. And now, at the bottom end, the bass sounds as it should. At the same time, it's wide at the mids and highs. The mid and zero side and side and zero mid are rather for monitoring purposes, yet feel free to be creative with them as well. So far, we've been fixing things. Now, let's get creative. In the next example, I'm going to apply the M-Wave folder and M-Multiband distortion to the left and right channels accordingly. First, I insert the plugins in series and set one of them to the left and another one to the right channel modes. Next, I make the setting that I like using the left and zero right and right and zero left modes for monitoring. And here is the result. As you can hear, it sounds pretty wide, though I didn't use any delay-based or pitch-shifting algorithms, the tricks that we typically use to widen the sound image. For the MS Showcase, I'm going to apply a gate effect to the M reverb. Again, I insert M reverb and M dynamics in series. And then I select the S channel mode in the M dynamics, which I'm going to use for the gate effect. I set it in such a way that from the beginning, every synth key sounds stereo and then it becomes mono. In the MS mode, a plugin applies the same settings to the M and S parts. This mode won't be different to the classic left right for equalization. However, for level dependent effects like compressors or gates, it will. The last mode is the surround. It can process up to eight channels. Settings are pretty straightforward here. Select number of channels according to your needs. Adjust each channel's volume if you want to. Basically, that's all. Just make sure that your host program follows the same order of channels as they are presented in this mode. The same settings are applied to every channel. One more thing to mention is that not every plugin from Melder Production possesses it. We finally discussed all channel modes. As you've seen, each of them can give an extra step in your creativity. Bye for now.